tonight on the Rock and Roll Bio Show. We'll take a look at a charismatic young man with a heart of gold and a voice to match. Kid, but he was a good kid though. You know, he did all his homework in school. He never really got in trouble. He didn't run in the streets and stuff, you know, like I did and a lot of our friends. His catapult to stardom and his illustrious career could only be matched by some of the greats of our time, such as Michael Jackson and Marvin Gaye. He had that voice that would stand out, you know, especially being as young as we were, you know, like eight. You know, he definitely was that kid that uh, turned heads, if you will. But ultimately, fame went to his head and led him down a dark path of substance abuse and violence. He was good. That there was no question about that. But as the as he got more famous, he just he just let it all go to his head. His ego became too much of a problem, and we had to go our separate ways. And in spite of the support and prayers from his friends and family, his demons led him to an untimely death that rocked the music world forever. Uh, when I first arrived to the scene, uh, the location was uh, this vacant building in Northeast Philadelphia. Uh, he had probably been unconscious for give or take an hour or two. And uh, it's a shame really because if somebody had found him earlier and made the call earlier, uh, paramedics might have been able to revive him. Tonight, for the first time on television, we'll take a look at the life and death of Stephen Blake. This is the Rock and Roll Bio Show.